Kingdom Butterfly here, and today I have another episode of Thrifting Goodies. Alright, let's begin with this. This was just a cute beaded necklace that I found at a antique shop. It's about $15 or so, but yeah, I really like jewelry, so I'm justifying it. Next we have this. This is really, um, and let's see. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Forgotten Realms, Dungeon Hack. This is at least from 1995. It's pretty old. And I just love this part here. Take care not to insert the disc into a floppy drive as it can damage the disc in the computer. <laughs> I can just imagine someone just sticking this, like, into a floppy drive. Eh. Eh. I guess they had to protect against stupid people who would try that. Next we have Baldur's Gate 2. I have never... Baldur's Gate 2. Would help if I say it right. Um, yeah. I've never heard of this game. The main reason why I got it was A, it was there, and B, it kinda reminds me of Morrowind with how it looks. I don't know. I mean, it has all the discs. They all look fine. I sure hope these two games work with my system. If not, I'm gonna have to figure out how DOSBox works, cause I'd really like to play some of these old DOS games. Next we have Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball if you can't already tell, but um, yeah. This was about, I wanna say, um, ten dollars? Yeah. This was in good condition, so. Yeah, and if anyone has Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 for the PS4, let me know. Next, we have this useless case because sadly it didn't have the disc. I honestly just wanted this, the um, Doom poster that it came included with. I mean, as much as I'd like the game, Doom 3, but yeah, as much as I'd like Doom 3, especially this version, at least I got a nice poster for it. Eventually, I will get that disc, because... I don't know, it just looks like a fun game. I like Doom, and Doom 2. Next, we have Metal Gear Rising. I haven't played any of this, or heard anything about it. All I know is that it is a Metal Gear Solid spin-off. I got this for about $3. Yeah, at a pawn shop. Same with this one. Metal Gear Solid 4. Now, I just got a PS3, and yeah, this was one of those games that I really wanted to play on there. So, I hope I'm not shining this light so much. Alright. L.A. Noir. I've been wanting to play this game. I got it for $3 at the same pawn shop as those, and yeah, good condition. Can't wait to play it, and yeah. Heavy Rain, another game that I really wanted on the system. Yeah, I know. Jason! But, um, yeah. They wanted 10 something and some change. I tried haggling with them, but the best I could do was $10 with no tax. So, yeah. Next, we have Sleeping Dogs. Another game that I've been wanting to play, and I just really wanted something to test this thing out here. And, yeah. Now on to the final thing, I keep talking about it. But yeah, this PS3. I got this, this, Uncharted 4, and the Nathan Drake collection for about $35. So... Roughly, I'd say I got this for about 15 and the other games were like 25 At least that's how I'm justifying it. But what's cool about the system, it's got tons of PlayStation 1 games preloaded on it. So we have several Final Fantasy games from, I think as far back as 4, I could be wrong, 4 to 10. They have the HD re release of 10 on here. They also have Tactics, they also have Suikoden titles, they have Legend of Dragoon, they have Parasite's Eve. What else do they have? Um, I'm trying to think. They have a lot more on here, but um, 
It's mostly a lot of RPG titles and Mega Man titles that are on this system, which is really cool just to say. I've got so many games on here that it's just like, oh, $15 and I've got a boatload of PS4 games that would cost me a fortune if I got the physical copy. Thank you, random person who sold this at a pawn shop. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you liked that video, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, here's a couple more. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe. Thank you! And goodbye.